Hey there, either Holder Fire Familia, welcome to Narjan Reacts. In this video, we're reacting to The Legend of Vox Machina, Season 1, Episode 7. Uh, if you'd like the full unedited reaction, you can go join my Patreon. The link for it will be uh, in the description down below. But anyway, uh, let's get right into it. Point this is a flashback. Oh, young Percy! Very mountains, its plain appearance oh, we're gonna get to see this. Trait. Oh, so this when guy was find, working for them. Correct, as always, Percival. How dare you be Residual smart? <laughs> oh no. Oh, the spit one. Did <laughs> children still do that in school? I know it was a thing when I was growing up. I haven't heard of a spit one in a long time. Don't share. Are you volunteering to demonstrate? Yes. Um. touches it. Boom. <gasps> oh. I mean, boom, but not that kind of boom. Do you keep the children in one piece? If you can. If you can. Your ambitions cloud your duties. Not in front of the children. See you at dinner, dears. Mm. Uh. Uh, pray you never wake to find reality knocking at your door. Oh, so you had a hate for them, so that's why you're working for the vampire couple now. Ugh, still hanging there. Somebody's gotta come down. Don't you have an ability that can just cut the ropes? They're just gonna like rot there until their heads fall. Uh... Pepperbox is a potent tool. I I may have gotten carried away. May? It's like you're a different person. What is it? It's possessed. Ooh, we're gonna get info on it. When we came here, darling, you promised no more lies. Yeah. You know the truth. Backstory, please. You're right. I had no way of striking back. Who did you make a deal with or so something? I did the only th My days spent struggling for survival. Moldy bread. Ugh. Oh, I've tasted moldy My bread and it's not nice. Nearly consuming me. <laughs> a spawn of science that would bring me the revenge I so desperately sought. Did you make it yourself? I dreamt of a machine that would tip the scales of fortune in my favor. Dreamt of? Why do I feel like something sent him visions? I dreamt of this. Yeah, I don't think that was dreamt. I think that was sent to you. Yikes. No wonder he's single. <laughs> Too many gross, Miss Scanlon. Sundry? Oh, the one that... The big one that's like... Dead looking. Dark magic. Oh. There's a corruption down below. It's gonna die immediately. Yeah. Hold up, that's five names. Who's the sixth barrel for? Uh, 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 and of course, we get cut off to find out who that is. Fire. Well, I don't think the fire is gonna help the tree, uh, Caleb. Isn't that alcohol? I guess it's just water. I was gonna say, I don't think putting alcohol in fire is a good idea. You told me that it was all empty. I guess there was one left. Wait, hold up. If that was alcohol, wouldn't it just help the fire not put it out? Why not just announce where our hideout is while you're at it? All right, you made your point. Vex pretending, Keyleth. It was an accident. Hate to interrupt, but this is bigger than all your personal shit. Shite. We have a real chance. Um, of siblings, Quabble? Grog. Sure you wanna? I mean, this town Ew, here. he's got a bug on his finger. Please don't flick that or. Actually, watch him eat it. He's either gonna flick it or eat it. Or maybe. Imagine he rubs it off on Scanlon. Guess they're a close knit family. Yeah, Scanlon. I know. And so much for the booger. But Cassandra's my only family. I have to find her. Are you sure she's Best even still on your side? Oh, oh, what if I lure the guards away from the house? <laughs> that a laugh. No, it's not the time to be cute. I am not cute. I mean, I am extremely. <laughs> He's like, I'm cute looking, but not in the cute way you're thinking of. But not like you mean it. Yeah. Listen, it's far too dangerous. And you're far too... Small. You. Oh, it's far to you. I'm 
much better at this. No, you're the stabby kill kill guys. Stabby kill kill alone. Oh, there's that bag. No idea, but it doesn't matter. Look, you I don't know what they do. Let me be annoying. I guess in trouble. I know exactly what I'm doing. Mm, good luck, Scanlan. <laughs> he regrets that so like yeah he's like I got this so do I g I don't got this. What the hell was that noise? Music. It makes your feet want to do something. Hopping walls like a Oh my god, he's breaking into song. Cat no. Not landing on your feet like a cat. Ooh, that's wrong. <laughs> right is he? Yeah, you don't have very much luck, do you, Scanlon? Uh, what are you touching? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, considering how bad, how big this guy is, I'm considering that Scanlon's head is big enough to, is just big enough to cover his, uh, swingling. Not very big guy. Oh, shit. <gasps> I'm not gonna pause and go back because, yeah, you know, but uh, yeah, he's not very big. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Literally, oh, shit. Uh, Are they playing Dungeons and Dragons in the Dungeons and Dragons based? Uh, hi. What'd you roll? <laughs> Magic. Uh, gentlemen, to your help. Oh, you don't know what that does and you're drinking it. Oh, please. Is it going to turn into a frog? Oh. Teleport? Oh, hell yes. oh, okay. So whenever you get hit, you teleport? You guys are just killing yourselves. Hi. A small skeleton. I mean, it makes you harder to step on, I guess. Miss me, Dookie. To Dookie. Oh. Yeah. You better to cause the yeah, scene I more than this. this. Okay, last one. Please be something good. Pink and round. Imagine it makes them all fall in love with them. No, <laughs> massive orgy. It upset his stomach. What is that gonna do? Make him like fart? He's gonna let out a big fart and it's gonna kill him all with the gas. Uh, it must be 74 white stone oh. Oh. I was kidding with that. Fire breath? Wow. It's like Taco Bell. At least it came out from that end, not the other end, because then that would have been explosive diarrhea. Such a sweet age. She was Innocent a age. I hope she's okay. She's been in the hands of the Briarwoods. Ah. Uh, he's okay. He he did what he knew. Oh, fuck off. oh Griffin. Hunter room. He's weirder than me. Weirder than me. No, no, no. <laughs> Tempting, but not the right time. Are those anal beads? I've never sung it. Okay. No way. Never schnibble. Never schnibble. I'll fill it you and use your bones for. Huh? Did you bring him back to life? A triceratops? Oh, we got turned into a triceratops. Well, that's a lot better than the frog. Doors are such bullshit. Doors are such bullshit. <laughs> bad. I should remember that spell. Yeah, that one's not a bad one. Now for my grand exit. Uh, watch out for a big sore guy. That's a long fall. But your head will still mount nicely on my wall, sir. Who let that sex crazed gnome do this solo? Um, All of us. You. Oh. <laughs> Never listen to me again. <laughs> and it looks like he went all out. Oh yeah, he's into that freaky stuff. That freaky stuff. Lighting a whole building on fire? Can only improve from here. I mean, I guess. Let's end up dead again. Not everything's a trap, you twit. Let's do this. 
You gotta throw him. Oh, I thought he was gonna throw him in there. Oh. It's a trap. Uh -huh. Ooh, Scanlan, you're looking a little. Somebody needs help, Scanlan. Oh, I got one punch in. He's giving you the middle finger with it. I thought the arrow's gonna pop out. Now he's angry. Grog angry. Oh, you. I'm afraid this performance is over. Who's gonna save you? Weak, and in this world, that means you lose. I don't think so. Somebody's. Wait, wait, wait. But the brothels have taught me one thing. Size doesn't matter. Mm hmm. That's how you use it. How you use it. Go, Scanlan. No way. Is he doing a. <laughs> what? <laughs> no way! That's the ultimate C shot. <laughs> no way. He just shot a freaking magic beam from his. You've been annoying piece of shit. <laughs> Uh oh. Ow. You gotta get this guy. What does he have in there? Let her go and we can discuss a future where you're still breathing. Um, oh. um. You seem to think this is a negotiation. What I feel like Cassandra's not gonna be the innocent little sister anymore. Why don't but I feel like she might actually kill him. Asian. Don't <laughs> or not. Nah, this th 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 this is a trap. The the I'm not falling for this. She this was planned to mess with Percy. Like she's got to be like a vampire or something at this point. Nah, they don't keep her alive for this long just to do this. Mm. -mm. It's still the end of the episode. You're not going to end the episode here, are you? Bro <laughs> And I don't trust that. I'm telling you that's a trap. She is not. She She's a vampire or something. She's not going to die from that. They don't keep her alive for all these years just to kill her off in front of Percy. Unless they're trying to mess with him mentally, but I don't think so. Like, they didn't even know he survived until now. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't trust it. Nope. Nope, nope. She's going to be like villain or something and like laugh as she gets up and be like, Oh, Percy or oh, brother, did you think? Like, I don't know. Nope. Nope, don't trust. Don't trust. Sure. <laughs> I have that down way too well. <laughs> but, alright. Anyway, uh, let me get into my thoughts. Okay, so my thoughts for this episode. So, this one was mainly like Scanlan trying to, well, create a distract- not distraction, but... What did he go in there for again? Was he supposed to, like... He didn't, like, distract anyone. Or no, I guess, I think that's the main house where the guards are, so it's like they- Needed him to distract the guards and like the main general guy and stuff while they went after Anderson, whatever his name is. I think, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, so like, I mean, they didn't do that until near the, they didn't go after Anderson until the end. And like, I think my brain is like absolutely had a brain fart and completely didn't pay attention. Not pay attention, but like, I didn't, I don't remember why he went in there. I'm pretty sure it's to create a distraction, then they were gonna go in, but they were waiting for him. So I kind of, was it that he was trying to get through, he had to get through there fast and get, kill the guards and stuff, and then they were going to all go together to take care of Anderson? I think that was the case. But anyway, overall, um, still a good episode. Uh, so left it off with a cliffhanger where Cassandra is dead, which, yeah, I'm not buying that for a second. Um, definitely think she's either going to be evil or a vampire. She wasn't like, that, that, that felt too planned. That felt too, like... Yeah, it's a trap. It's a trap. I'm calling it. Um, but anyway, yeah. Uh, that plot for this episode was good. Characters were great. You know, Scanlan's a hilarious character, and I like that he may be like dirty jokes and all that stuff, but they don't overdo it with him. It's like a right of balance where it's like enough that it's funny, but not like oh another one kind of thing. Um, so I like Scanlan and everything. Uh, yeah. Uh, like I said, plot was good, characters were great, animation was great, music, uh, especially like little, like the little bits of song we get from Scanlan every now and then. 
not full songs all the time, but like little bits and like whoever they got voicing Scanlan has a good voice for singing as well. Like when, even when he does like a single like spell line like he did for that uh, beam. <laughs> that I was not expecting whatsoever. Uh, but like the guy's got like his voice actor's got some good pipes on him. Um, but yeah. Anyway, those are my thoughts for this episode. I hope you enjoy this reaction. Uh, have a wonderful morning, after night, and keep bringing bright. See ya.